Does he think he is, Ed Ames? I don't know. Well, for Lyndon and Lady Bird Johnson, what now, my lovey? Mr. John Davidson. Well, then he, <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting some more out of you. Uh, hey, how about uh, doing something like uh, punching up this cartridge here that says special sporads? All right. Wichita North is number one in City League action. And Thank you very much. I think I'll go on out to the game and have a good time. It's what I'll do. Yes, sir. 17 minutes before 3. You like what, what's all this? Well, I used to go to North High and I was just... Oh, you're doing North High? Yeah. 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 All right. Oh, man. Mark Denny, his orchestra, and his organ, and everything else he's got. And the sound. Incense and peppermints. That's Martin Denny, the orchestra. Incense and people mint. And speaking about peppermint, you know, kind of relating it there to red and green and Christmas and that sort of thing. How about a Christmas gift to gladden the hearts of any of your youngsters on your list? A new book written by Wichita's own Story Prince to delight the millions of children. He's been doing it since his rise to national fame on the Pinky Lee Show and other network television shows like The March of Medicine. In his new book, the Story Prince has gathered together story after story that will please children of all ages, including the squiggly worm, the doll that needed a fix, the carnivorous witch, the little boy who played with shotguns, the degenerate elf, and Bobsy and Pipsy in Red China. Excuse me, I've got to answer the phone. Go ahead. Okay, the phone. Go ahead. Each story is beautifully illustrated by Ivelyn and Lorraine Albright, and each will provide your children with many, many hours of fascination. You won't need television to keep your children quiet once they have their own story. Story Prince Storybook. Who's on the phone? I don't know. Ask for the spider in the nanny's bed and many other stories available on the Just Browsing book list at your Just Browsing book store. Who's on the phone? I, I don't know. I, uh, wait till we get a record going and I'll answer it, all right? Who's on the phone? I don't know. Mother? I don't know. Jimi Hendrix of Rock Radio. That is Mr. Arthur Prysock. We're 10 from the hour, 3 o'clock from KMBWFM, the Big 89 in Wichita, Kansas. And I say, let's all get out there and take off our clothes and dance in the sunshine. Oh, that is the bear singing. Oh, I want to hear the bear. Oh, wow. That's going to come in the chorus, and the bear necessities of life will come to you. I, I wanted to be the bear in that, but you got it. How, uh, what's the well, deal, I, man? Well, that's because I've seen the movie, and I know what the bears did. <laughs> okay. He sang and danced, all right? He sang and danced. Oh, that's, I want to get that I, straight. I bet he's that if I were you. Uh, all, right. all right. That's good. very good. I got the bear, and that's life, friend. Hey, I, that's, um, <laughs> you rattle me. I can't do it. Miss Nancy Wilson gonna dance, gonna sing, gonna do her thing. All right. That's love. Well, going to say anything? We're just going to let that die on its neighbors. own. That was uh, Miss uh, Nancy Wilson. And that is definitely the way it is when you come and talk about life. Mm. Talking about the bears and the birds and the bees. It's five minutes before the hour. Three o'clock at B. Terry T. Program. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Terry T. What? Who's that drawing you? Oh, thanks a lot. Say something. ba da ba 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 KMUWFM in Wichita, Kansas. We crawl before we walk and breath. Now here with something special, heaven knows what's Ed B. Yes, well, good evening once again, sports fans. This is Ed B with with a uh, fantastic sports report for He-Man, the chess wig that makes you look mature and very strong and manly. The annual Wichita State Cross Country Invitational was held this afternoon in Mulvane as entries came from the University of New Mexico and Albuquerque burst across the finish line as the unchallenged winner after completing the grueling rod that began at Cessna Stadium and wound around the Missouri, Montana, northwest of British Vancouver, and then the south through Hell's Canyon and back to the starting point, which is near Hayesville. The modest winner was Ralph Pingley of uh, Carlsbad, and he made the, his victory all the more unchallenged by being the only one of 75 starters to finish it all. The rest had dropped out one by one competitively soon after the cross country began as a part of the spring track meet here in Wichita. That the uh, that was you know spring two years ago. Pingley explained there are two factors that made his time a little bit longer than expected. First, he was unable to arrange transportation from Albuquerque for the race, and as consequent, had to run all the way. 
He blamed further loss of time on the traffic in Hell's Canyon, where, according to his account, there was a political speech every few hundred yards or so. Well, fans, that's the top of the sports. Be sure and listen to the bottom of the sports tomorrow. This is Tom Harmless. Now back to your announcer. And remember, there's nothing like He-Man to make you look strong and manly. Naturally, He-Man, the chest wig that comes in 48 different shades to match your eyelashes. If you're annoyed by contemptuous snickers and cries of, here comes old bald bosom when you go swimming, call at your dealers tomorrow and select your He-Man chest wig in the texture that suits you best, peach fuzz, bristle, wiry, and missing link. That's He-Man for a chest that silences criticism. And that's sports for this evening, ladies and gentlemen. Ed B. reporting. We'll see you around. Now, let's go to the Gunther Common Chorus and Ave Maria. That's what it says, Ave Maria. Ave Maria. <laughs> I so that is what they do with the pipe organ. Uh, uh, that is terrible, isn't it? Well, that's not too yeah. much. I'll tell you what, let's do it. Have you got the cannonball ready? Yeah, let's get it. Load the shotgun. All right. Here All we right. go. There we ready, go. Ready, set. Good. Very good. Uh, Glad we've done it. It deserved that. Right. <laughs> uh, boo, his boo. Uh, four Happy. minutes past three. Harry T. Till four. I don't, I don't think I want this. <laughs> Hey, those were the days. You remember yes. those good old days? With the spinners on the car. You yeah. Know? Everybody walking around saying, hey, mom, it's pretty cool. Do you remember that? Yeah. Had, everybody had sunglasses. Yeah, and your car, you dig go with the front. You don't know, have the front real low. So That's right. You, you didn't dare go over down. curves or bumps or anything. Yeah. <laughs> just all over. Yeah. And they uh, used to have dice up on the, up on the mirror. Yeah. Oh, those were the days. Thank you, Isn't it? Remember when they used to do that in big rock time radio? You yeah. Know? From the big Los Angeles area. This is <laughs>